Hello and welcome back. If you have joined me on this video, that means you are on my Budapest series and I am on my uh, Euro trip right now, Budapest being my third city, rather third country overall. And after finishing off the Fisherman's Bastion and uh, the Matthias Church, I have come down to, yes, you can imagine pretty well, I'm in front of the Buddha Castle. I'm still on the castle district or the uh, Buddha side of the city. I'm on the hills right now and in front of me you can see uh, the famous uh, Budapest castle or the Buddha castle. It's huge. It's huge and widely spread out. Uh, castle looks very beautiful but a bit of uh, old architecture and it's kind of fading out. I mean compared to what I've seen in recent few uh, castle visits had it been a bit more colorful and well maintained, it would have been actually a hundred of hundred. But then I am not here for a castle entry because I normally don't do uh, entries and museums and all those things if not very, very well recommended. Well, it is recommended, but then uh, not uh, to be honest, to be uh, for myself to get into it hooked up. Uh, sorry, got distracted. Yes, the reason why I have come. Oh, there's a Instagram. Sorry, folks are taking pictures. Yes, uh, the reason why I came here on, on the Buddha side, Buddha castle rather, is uh, due to uh, this awesome view of the pest. Yes, I mean, Buddha castle is beautiful, but then look at this view. Look at this view. Yet again from this part I mean I showed you from the fisherman's bastion that was there the, the Hungarian Parliament building and right now enjoy the chain bridge which is the most famous bridge over here connecting uh, Buddha and Pest this is the chain bridge the famous chain bridge and if you see on that side there are two more bridges uh, continuing one is Elizabeth the other one is Liberty I will gradually go towards that part of the city but thought of having a filming from uh, this part coming back uh, to the castle this used to be called as the royal castle or the royal palace uh, and now it's referred as uh, Buddha castle in short uh, it, it's it's it it still holds the the two important things with uh, which are inside over here one is the national museum and the other one is the national gallery one last time before i leave the main courtyard of uh, budapest uh, castle it's big it's huge but had it been given a bit more touch on the outer part there are a few areas which are actually seen to be uh, falling apart which is a bit of a shame actually I'm seeing scaffoldings throughout the area so work is going on rather patchwork is going on uh, but the reason why I'm continuing this uh, video and I'll try to be very fast on this uh, route is because I want to show you guys another particular point which is uh, very beautiful and uh, worth going to that part if you have already been here so meanwhile uh, budapest as i was mentioning is beautiful it's it's a huge city it cannot be covered over foot and you need to have uh, your uh, transportation modes uh, ready with you and that's also very cheap over here uh, get your day pass that's the best don't go for individual tickets it's very it's it's hassle so just go for your day pass. Uh, look, there's a fountain as well. So I'm actually coming out of the main courtyard gradually and going to a particular point, which I'll come to it very soon. But yes, as I was saying, so utilize your uh, day travel pass. That's very user friendly. You can get the metro, the tram and the buses uh, all covered in that if you are using a tram use tram number two if you are using bus use bus number 16 oh that's a very important information and probably i'll do a 
detailed video about the bus so use bus number 16 from Pest or the main city center of the Pest side that's the bus that will take you all the way down up here uh, on the top of the hill so basically I have done a reverse journey had I been coming from the fisherman's bastion or the Matthias church I would have come from that side from where all the people are coming in but the reason why I wanted to come here are because of two things one is this uh, these uh, change of guard this just happened some time back it happens every one hour again looks very cool it's a common thing for all your uh, church buildings sorry castle buildings oh I'm losing my breath and the other thing is this uh, funicular now as 99% of the people over here are using this uh, funicular or the cable car to come up and go down it's very interesting very beautiful but then definitely doable on foot so try walking up and down it's easy not at all uh, problematic and the reason why I've come here is because of the further view of this area let me try a better view to see if I can get hold of the funicular excuse me guys sorry yes so yes that's the route of the funicular and while I'm waiting for a funicular to come up or go down that's the famous chain bridge now that's a view right that's Danub flowing I'm still on the Buddha side of the city that's the pest the other side keeping out the Buddha hill the Buddha castle the fisherman's bastion and Matthias church every other touristy attractions are mainly found on the pest side for which I'll try to make a video uh, very soon but I'm just waiting for uh, funicular to uh, take its turn one is going to get ready so basically behind me is the funicular station the one which I showed you from the front it comes up and down every few or four minutes my luck right now is not that good that I have to wait for such a long time yeah there is there's one whoops it goes down and there's the other one which is coming up at the same time and look that's also a photo spot so if you are here definitely uh, walk down that area that's a big beautiful photo spot for your uh, funiculars as well as the chain bridge so my recommendation if you're coming to the Buddha castle or the Buddha hill this side this is the second spot where you should come and wait this view is awesome and also the view from here for the chain bridge is beautiful with that note oh and the sun has come up lovely with that note and a frame of the chain bridge in front of me it's a goodbye from here and see you hopefully from the best side of the city now where i continue my journey further ahead bye bye